Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we have the Paralens third person viewer. Um, I've got it attached to the Vaquita camera at the moment. Uh, yeah, so this is basically, effectively, it's a selfie stick in that you can use it as a traditional selfie stick to do that kind of photo, um, but it's almost like a um, an autonomous one. It's designed so that you clip it onto a D-ring on your BCD, and then it basically follows you from behind, recording you the whole way, so that you can get footage as you, of yourself when you're in the water, swimming through the water. So it's quite clever, it's, uh, it's a little bit different, and it means that you don't need your buddy to be focused on you all the time, because you basically are doing it all by yourself. Uh, let's take a close so look. Okay, so this is how it arrives. So third person viewer, a nice cardboard box, very eco-friendly, um, made for the Paralins Vaquita. That is a very important statement. So if you didn't know the, the previous version, the Dive Camera Plus, I think they called it, um, similar but different mounting uh, options for it. So accessories like this that are made for the Vaquita, they're not going to fit the previous version and the previous version accessories aren't going to fit the Vaquita. Yeah. Um, so that is important to make sure that you get the right one for the camera that you have. Um, on the back, diving from a whole new perspective tells you a little something about the, uh, the third person viewer, uh, a QR code that I imagine just takes you to the website. Minimum distance, so shortest you can get at 30 centimeters. As you can see, box itself isn't particularly large, so traveling with it isn't gonna be a huge issue. And then you can adjust it to 100 centimeters, 120, um, and all the way up to 180 centimeters, which is 70 inches, so really long. Um, the head, the mount itself that you put the camera on, that can rotate 180 degrees, so you can use it as a kind of a pokey stick to kind of look around a corner or something without getting too close to something, or you can use it to record yourself in the water, a bit more like a, a selfie stick. Two floaters uh, go on either side of the camera. This is when you're using it in that sort of third person uh, mode just to hold the, uh, the camera up uh, so it doesn't just sink down to the lowest point. Carbon fiber telescopic pole uh, attaches to the underside. Um, and then, yeah, that's what's inside of the box. So, on the inside, uh, nothing interesting on the inside of the sleeve. There's a funky picture of uh, what looks like a, a clamshell or something. Um, okay, inside the box. Okay, so you get the uh, the stick itself, uh, and these are the two floaters. Uh, something should be in there, but it's fallen out. Something should be in there, but it's fallen through. Yep. Uh, so we have the two floaters. So these go on either side of the camera, and um, I presume they're sort of angled so that they um, they sort of hold it in the right position. Uh, these little uh, sort of clippies, they look like they just clap onto there and, uh, and hold on. Four of those for attachment points. Uh, stainless steel bolt snap, uh, pretty decent action on that and a decent size eye. Uh, and then a lanyard, so a very secure lanyard because you're supposed to sort of attach this onto your, uh, you click it onto a uh, D-ring on your BCD, you then sort of have it all sort of outstretched on this uh, sort of bungee, and, uh, and then it sort of follows you from behind. Uh, so very secure. The bungee itself um, is, uh, is fairly stiff compared to a lot of other bungees, so it's gonna hold its position, but if it does need to sort of flex, it can. They of course recommend that you don't use it in overhead environments, uh, near reefs or wrecks or anything, or even other scuba divers so it doesn't get in the way and tangle up. Um, but yeah, a, a pretty secure uh, sort of anchor point on that. The stick itself, so you have their pretty traditional uh, sort of click mount. Uh, I'll show you how it works later, and that just wraps over the camera. And then as you unscrew these, everything's very stiff. It's supposed to go in that direction, it says. Yes. So it unscrews, and then you get the telescopic um, sort of action. So three different sections and then four including the handle and, uh, and this is all carbon fiber so it is actually very very light um, and then you push it down uh, and it just it's just screw action just to screw it back into position uh, and then a little attachment point down at the bottom to uh, attach the uh, the split ring to hold it in. Uh, okay so yeah let's uh, let's attach it onto a camera and see what it looks like.
Okay, so I've got my Vaquita camera. We're gonna uh, sort of assemble it. Actually on closer inspection, I actually noticed there's an extra section. So previously I uh, I unscrewed the uh, the main sort of section that got it to go that long, um, but that's not 1.8 meters, is it? You actually have another section down here. If you unscrew the, the main sort of head of it, you can unscrew it and there's even more to this pole, um, which yeah, that is almost two meters long. So um, yeah, if you really do want that POV shot of all of you, then yeah, you you really do have a really long selfie stick. Or if there's something particularly dangerous, um, like an angry dive master and you want to record it, uh, yeah, you can do it from a safe distance. Uh, but if you don't want the entire length of it, you can sort of concertina it down and, uh, and these sections do. <laughs> collapse down into themselves uh, and then screw down uh, into position. Okay, so assembling it onto a camera is pretty simple. So you have the uh, the click mount on the very end. The head itself has a uh, sort of a ratchet style system so you can rotate it around and then that holds it in position. You have this little screw here which is uh, pretty sort of standard tripod screw, which you can unscrew. You can then uh, sort of unscrew that, but if it's at the sort of angle that you want it to be at, you screw it in and that kind of locks it in at that angle. Attaching it onto the uh, the camera, so you have these two little hooks, um, two on each side. That then goes on the, uh, on the bottom and then you basically push it until it clicks. If you're using the floats, as that 3D viewer, it's worth moving it a little bit further up the torch because the uh, the clamps for the floats have to go either side of it. And then you basically lift and push until it clicks. Then you use this section, this kind of elastic bungee section, to hook it over and then just hold it into position. So that's just a sort of a redundant backup. The clip itself, the camera, isn't gonna go anywhere, that's a pretty secure clip. Um, but if you got this as well, it's definitely not gonna go anywhere as long as you've attached it properly. Now with the floats, so these go either side of the uh, of the camera. So this is if you're using it as a uh, third person viewer to watch yourself or record yourself. Uh, now you have these two little lugs on either side uh, or on one side of either of these floats. These two, sections here and the important thing is is that these once they're on they're really hard to get off so make sure that you put them on the right way the first time round um, all it is is you basically just push it and it clicks into position but there are two little it's almost like a duck bill valve uh, once it's on it's really tough to get off so make sure that you do it the right way the first time and then when you're attaching it very similar to uh, the main mount you basically uh, sort of loop it over Sorry, other side. <coughs> Loop it under at the bottom and then push till these little tabs lock into position. Uh, and that's it. So that when it's in the water, this positive buoyancy is going to sort of cancel out the negative buoyancy of it and, uh, and it basically holds that camera in position. You obviously have to use both, um, but for brevity, I'm just gonna use one and um, the other one will just sit on the other side like that. Okay, so that's the Paralens third person viewer. A, uh, a very cl uh, clever sort of twist on the sort of selfie stick culture in that, yeah, you can record yourself swimming uh, sort of whilst you're, um, not holding on to it. Um, yeah, the construction is pretty good. Um, the carbon fiber body makes it incredibly lightweight, so this is gonna be nothing to uh, to throw in your kit bag. And um, yeah, it just comes, it, it just gives you that little bit of a, sort of a, a, a different camera angle to uh, sort of record yourself in the water, but you can also use it as a traditional camera. It's, um, yeah, it, it's quite clever. I um, The one thing is, Obviously, especially when you're using it with the, the tether and the, um, the, the the selfie stick itself at full length, it's gonna be pretty big in the water. So as all the warnings on the box say, only use it in open blue water with sort of no one else really around. Um, so you're not going to uh, sort of get entangled or whatnot. But um, yeah, after you're done using it, you concertina it down and it comes uh, sort of quite small. So yeah. 
There's gonna be far more information on our website, simplyscuba.com to check it out. There'll be a link down in the description below. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving. Thank you.